I have never been to Texas up till recently. Very recently. Actually, as I'm recording this last weekend, I have not ever been to Texas. And I felt like that was one of the states that I should at least see. I should at least go to. I should go to every state, you know? But whatever. I went to Texas and I had a great time. And I want to talk about that in this episode today. So, yeah. Hello, my name is Kirsten. I'm the host for this podcast. Thanks for listening or clicking if you have. I haven't posted in a bit. I haven't posted in quite a while. Um, why you may ask, or you probably didn't ask, but whatever, who cares? Um, I just have been doing other things. Um, it wasn't like, oh, I need a break from podcasting so that I can experience things and I can put them towards my podcast. Honestly, no, it really wasn't like that. I meant to post, um, probably in June, like that was probably the last time I posted and I meant to, you know, continue posting throughout the summer, but I was like, hey, let me just take a break. I need a break. Um, I was posting podcast episodes weekly. And it was kind of getting difficult for me to record, uh, you know, episodes back to back and, you know, have good content. I was running into a bit of a wall and I was like, maybe I do just need to take a break because every episode that I was recording, I was like, this is not it. And I don't want to just post an episode of me rambling about nonsense, you know? And also it was summertime, which meant my siblings were home a lot more. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I haven't moved out yet. I'm still in college. Just give me a break. But my siblings are in, you know, middle, middle and high school. So they were home during the summer, obviously a little bit more. And I didn't have a full amount of time that I know I'd have peace and quiet enough to record a podcast episode. But back in the school year, I'm back in my school year. I was taking classes in the summer too. So I was just focused on focusing on a lot of different things, enjoying the summer, blah, blah, blah. But here I am again, and I kind of wanted to jump on the podcast to talk about my trip to Texas, which I had a really great time. I have never been to Texas, okay? Never, not once in my life have been to Texas. Um, I've barely been on the West Coast of the United States of America. Um, I am originally from New Jersey, and usually if I am traveling, it's really just on the East Coast. I've been to many of the East Coast states. Um, but I moved to Florida my senior year of high school, so I was about 17 years old, and, you know, I was raised in New Jersey, so I'm from New Jersey, like, genuinely from New Jersey, um, and when I moved to Florida, I definitely expecting, expected the social scene to be a lot different than what it is. I expected making friends to be a lot easier. I expected it to be really it's just friendly in a way. I guess I expected people to be very welcoming, people to be neighborly, you know, nice. Um, not that people aren't nice, they're just not super friendly. So I didn't really make friends the way I, I expected to, and that was kind of a shock for me. Not because I'm great at making friends, but because I expected so much of a different social scene here. It just was not what I expected. In high school, I didn't really make any real, like, any. I didn't make many friends. I had a couple of friends that stuck with me for a bit, and, you know, they were great and, you know, very, very nice people. But, you know, as time goes on, you kind of lose contact with people. When I went to college, I definitely was like, okay, this is another, another opportunity for me to, you know, jump into the social scene and make friends. And it just didn't happen for me. It really didn't happen for me. I joined clubs. I tried to go to events. I went to a couple parties. I went to tailgates and work as well. I made short-term friendships with these people, which I did really uh, appreciate at that time because it kind of helped me get through a certain, you know, part of my life, you know, just having someone to maybe just like invite me to a a tailgate. I didn't miss out completely on those experiences, but most of the time I was spending time by myself, but I didn't really make any long-term friendships like people say they make in high in college, I mean. And, you know, now that I'm nearing the end of my college career, I am looking for, you know, other, you know, major career opportunities, not major, but like, you know, actual career opportunities. You know, I'm just like, maybe Florida is not the place for me. I don't want to reside in Florida. I don't want to be in Florida. I don't think, I don't think it's just, it's just not for me. It's not bringing out my best self. And 
I, I kind of have been thinking about different places that I've wanted to, I, that I want to live or I might want to try living. And Texas was on that list, whether it was Dallas, Austin, Houston. I don't really, listen, the weird part about it is I've never been to Texas. Okay. I've never been to Texas once in my life. I don't know what it was that made me want to mo- move to Texas. I think maybe the apartment like prices were kind of low and for like a good quality or updated looking apartment and I was like I could do that so I think maybe like the housing or like that kind of looked cool because if you come to Orlando first of all I don't live in Orlando but that area is where my college is located the prices are out, out are ridiculous for a pretty bad looking apartment and I was just like this is not worth it like I, I'd rather just stay home finish college and when I get you know a job I can you know move out blah 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 like no it's just a waste of money but anyway I probably saw some things on like social media that made me go oh I could do this Texas thing that looks kind of appealing I might want to do that again never been to Texas so I couldn't really tell you you know if this is a good idea or not recently there was an event in Texas in Dallas that me and a family member went to I was like this is a perfect opportunity for me to look around kind of take it all in get the vibe, see what, see, see what it's like, you know, see what's going on, see if I like it. And let me tell you, I actually really, really, really did enjoy my time. We were staying in Fort Worth, which I love the downtown Fort Worth area. That was the cutest area. It was like, it was walkable. There were some like coffee shops. There were boutiques. There were just like, there was this plant shop. I don't know. It was just the most, it was the cutest. I'll get back to that. But it was the nicest, cutest little town. But the main thing that really kind of made me more interested in the area is how friendly everyone was. Everyone was so friendly and it was, it kind of caught me off guard. It was not something that I was looking for. It was like, not like the number one thing I was looking for. I was just looking for, you know, like, what do the towns look like? What is, what does the city look like? What is it, does it feel like somewhere I'd want to live? I wasn't really looking for the people to sway my opinion on whether or not I'd want to live in this area, but they did. Supposedly the the, the weekend that I went to Dallas for this event, it was like a lot going on. For one, you know, it was the event that I went to and then there was supposedly Drake was going to be there. It was a Cowboys game. Um, Beyonce was coming the next week. The event that I went to, Beyonce's mother was actually there. Anyway, so my point is there was just a lot going on during this weekend that I was there. So I don't know if people are being super nice because they knew that there were a lot of travelers coming in from different states. But all I know is everyone was super super talkative and friendly not in like a talkative annoying way like a talkative like a really nice genuine friendly conversation type way whether it was the uber driver whether it was the hotel staff whether it was the coffee shop owner or people walking past you down the street literally everyone just seemed so friendly let me give you a little background in florida I'm used to no one having conversation with you, okay? No one's outside to have a conversation with you. People are just, you know, going to the store and going home. People are not looking to socialize. Even if you do try to socialize, they kind of look at you weird. Like, what are you talking to me for? I don't know you. You know, they barely hold the door for you when you're walking behind them. I mean, I'm not going to put everybody in this category, but I'm just saying this is something that I've realized, especially amongst people my age on campus. Like, no one is looking to talk. Like, unless they know you, which I don't even know how they get to know people unless you talk to a stranger first. But no one's getting no no one's looking to have a conversation with you unless they know you you know I didn't know anybody on campus when I moved there so it was just like really hard for me to even make friends that's how I've been living for a while so I got very used to my own company and being by myself and being reliant on myself for you know entertaining and entertainment and you know talking to myself you know whatever I I've been very (laughs) I got very comfortable with that So when I got to Texas and these random strangers were just talking to you in a friendly way, I I kind of was caught off guard. At one point during my trip, I took a walk. I was staying in the Fort Worth area, downtown Fort Worth to be clear, um, and I left my hotel for like like 20 minutes to go on a walk just to get some coffee. I just wanted to get a coffee. That's all I wanted to do. And maybe, you know, browse some of the downtown stores. 
Um, so that's what I did. I left my hotel, went down the elevator, walked out the hotel, walked across the street over to this little kind of very cute little, I won't say alleyway because it wasn't like a cute alleyway, but it was like an alley with like, um, you know, stores, the storefronts of, you know, certain places or whatever. And I walked down the alleyway because I knew that there was this cute little plant shop that was there this shop had glass windows you stepped down into the shop there were plants hanging from the ceiling that you could purchase little succulents everywhere you know just plants everywhere and I thought it was the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life so I had to go inside I went inside the lady that worked there was like hi how are you and I'm like good (laughs) And she was like, if you need help with anything, just let me know, okay? And I was like, yeah, sure. I mean, me, I was just browsing. I had a flight the next day, so I couldn't really buy anything. You know, you can't really travel with plants. You probably can, but not for me. I don't do that, you know, to each their own. I was just browsing kind of, and I walked past the register where this other guy was working. And he was like, hey, you need any help? And I'm like, I'm okay right now, thank you. And he was like, if you need any help, just let me know. My name's fill in the blank I can't remember and I was like wow that was really nice okay people don't usually do that in Florida okay they're just like hi and then like you walk in anyway so I'm you know browsing the store and I I'm getting like these really good vibes and I'm like okay this is nice I like this I can get used to this this is nice I leave the store because I didn't really plan on buying anything I really just wanted to see and like you know feel the energy I guess and I left to go to the actual coffee shop that I I meant to go to and I went on this walk people are kind of just going about their business when they walk past you they kind of acknowledge you and you know smile and nod they're like good morning or good afternoon you know and they you know walk past you and you know that's something that I've talked about before on my podcast that I feel like is just a nice gesture um I've heard someone say recently you don't have to smile at people like you don't have to do that and of course you don't but I feel like it's a nice gesture I don't mind when people do it to me I know people think that it's weird and strange but I think it's like one of the only form of communications that we that that we like have left I mean like people don't even want to have conversations anymore so to acknowledge that I'm walking past you and smiling and saying good morning is something that I always feel super nice that people do and people were doing that here people don't do that uh where I'm living right right now and it kind of you know feels like heck how am I supposed to even like talk to people walking down the street I go to the coffee shop someone holds the door for me I'm like thank you so much my guy and I walk in and the person working behind the counter was this really nice really nice guy and I walk around to the register you know kind of just looking over the menu or whatever and he walks over to the register and he's like hi and I'm like hi and he's just like you know he has this like huge smile on his face I don't know if it was a fake smile because he was working but it seemed pretty dang on genuine to me so he was like okay what, what's your name and I was like Kirsten and he was like nice to meet you Kirsten and I was like thank you and he was like what can I get for you and I, was, I told him I want to you know medium ice vanilla latte please and he was like oh, absolutely it'll be right out you know and he gave me like this another another genuine very nice smile and I'm just like bro what is happening right now what is this okay so I was like all right thank you and I walk to the side where you're supposed to wait for your coffee and I'm just standing there he's kind of like you know moving around the you know behind the register making the coffees or whatever and there's this girl who's kind of just like hanging out at the counter I guess she's waiting for her coffee as well and he's making her coffee and they're kind of having conversation and she turns to look at me as I'm waiting kind of farther back than where she's standing and she goes I really like your outfit. Listen, mind you, these are people my age, okay? Was not expecting that. I was like, oh, thank you. Thanks. Um, And I really do appreciate when anyone compliments or smiles or says anything, like, have a good day. I really do appreciate that. Um, I should probably do it a little bit more, too. But anyway, she was like, yeah, I really like your outfit. I'm like, oh, thank you. And at that point, it caught me off guard so much that I, I don't know, I, I didn't know what to say. I thought maybe, should I say more? Should I say I like your outfit, too? But I didn't want to like give her a compliment just because she gave me a compliment because I feel like that seems ungenuine, you know, like just because someone says, oh, I like your makeup. Don't you don't have to say like, oh, I like your makeup, too, you know, because it just seems ungenuine to me. So I wanted to say something, but I wasn't really sure what to say. So I kind of ended up standing there awkwardly after I said thank you. And she kind of looked at me like, are you okay?" (laughs) I thought that was the end of the conversation. But no, she looks at me and she's like, so what did you order? And I'm like, what? more there's more okay 
Um, so I started walking a little bit closer to her because I felt like that would be polite, you know. And I was like, I ordered a iced latte. And she was like, oh, really? Did you get any, like, flavors in there? And I'm like, yeah, I got vanilla. Listen, I was so, like, taken... I've... It's been a very long time since I've had a conversation with a stranger who was my age, okay? Or a stranger that was my age that initiated a conversation willingly, you know? Like, it was just weird. I It's unfortunate that I, it felt so foreign to me, but I, I really felt like this really welcoming vibe. Like, I felt like, wow, okay. So maybe it's not all me, okay? Maybe it's where I'm living. Maybe it's just the vibe of the people in Florida. Maybe it's just not maybe it's not all me you know hold on let me take a sip of my coffee because my coffee's been sitting here and I freshly brewed it so yeah maybe it's not all me that's you know causing me to not have a huge social life maybe it's the people around me I don't know but anyway I get my coffee he hands me my coffee says have a good day so does the girl I say have a nice day nice to meet you blah 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 and I keep it moving And I walked out of the store feeling so like, "Mm, that was nice. I like that. You know, that was cool. I keep walking down the street. You know, people, there was like an event going on in the center of like a car show or something. I don't know. And I walked past this art shop, which is right up my alley. Honestly, it was was like this tiny little cute art shop where, you know, it was, it was, it was small, but they had all your essential supplies for like little, you know, art, art projects and painting and um, crocheting and stuff like that. So I was like, I have to go in here. I can't not go in here. Even if I can't really buy anything because of my flight, I have to go in here. So you know, I go in there. If you want to see that little cute experience, that was, I posted it on my TikTok and my Instagram at Kirsten Arts. I walked into this store and the lady that was working there was talking to somebody. So I was just kind of, you know, browsing. And when those people left, she was just like, hello, you know, welcome in. If you need any help, just please just let me know. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. I already was felt feeling so good because everyone else was so welcoming. And I figured she'd be welcoming as well. And I, you know, walk around the store a little bit. And she was like, so are you from here? And I'm like, no, no, not really. I, I, you know, flew in. She was like, oh, yeah. So you probably don't want to buy too much. And I'm like, yeah, especially like the liquidy things. Like, you know, I can't really bring that on the, on the plane. And she was like, yeah. And I was pointing towards all the painting supplies. And I was like, yeah, I paint. So I can't really bring much. And she was like, oh, really? What do you paint with? And I was like, oil paint. And she was like, oh, yeah, oil paint's the best. I, ha- I can't stand acrylic. Acrylic is like blah, blah, blah. You know, we're going back and forth. We're having a conversation about paint, okay? Um, and it was really friendly, and she kept going, and I kept going, which was really interesting for me, which I'll get into in a minute. Then she was talking about, I was talking about the area. I was like, yeah, I love this area. It's so cute. And she was just like, oh, yeah, this people, like, you know, come here, all, you know, they like it, and blah, blah, blah. It's great that you like it. And I was like, yeah, no, I can't wait to come back. She was like, you know, we are having this art festival in April. You should really come and check it. I'm like, oh my gosh, it sounds so nice. I would totally do that. Thank you for letting me know. And we're going back and forth or whatever, just having a conversation. And it felt so genuine. And I felt not like myself because I, I usually, whenever someone starts a conversation with me, which is very rarely, I'm overthinking everything that's coming out of my mouth. But here I just felt so like calm and um I felt like I could have a conversation I didn't feel weird I didn't feel like I was saying too much and when I left I was like thank you you know bye you know have a nice day or whatever and she said the same and I walked out there feeling so like okay I could get used to this I could get used to going into small shops and having conversation with local people or with a stranger because I feel like that is it's so nice to have a conversation with someone you don't even know someone that you don't know and you don't have to know forever you know you can just talk to a stranger and go on with your life and never see him ever again you know or you can talk to a stranger and make a uh, make a brand new friendship you never know just being able to talk to people that you don't know it could bring you something that you never you knew you needed or you never knew you even wanted like i don't know you just it's nice and where I'm living right now, it doesn't happen at all. You know, I feel like no one is looking to have a conversation, to talk, especially people my age. It just does not happen. And I just, I don't, I don't know if that's my vibe. I'd rather talk to a stranger than to like never talk to anyone. I'd rather leave my house and have a short conversation with a stranger than to just not talk to anyone at all. You know, um, sometimes, okay. 
sometimes sometimes i'm not in the mood to talk but sometimes i i would like to you know if it, if it was if someone was welcoming a conversation i wouldn't you know turn it away so i walked out of the art shop going back to the hotel thinking i've been out of my hotel for 20 minutes 20 minutes and i've already had conversations with three different strangers okay that was foreign to me I was just like, this is, I mean, I could get used to it. It's nice. Like, I, I, I mean, I, but, but it made me think, okay, maybe like, again, maybe this isn't just me. Maybe it's like just where I'm living. People just don't want to talk. If, I mean, it's, it's, to, I'm totally capable of carrying conversations with three strangers in 20 minutes. Like it's possible. So that's one of the things that made me go like, okay, maybe this area is kind of nice. Maybe I can get used to this area. People like the hotel staff, they were also nice. I know they're, like I said, I know they're working. They're probably supposed to be nice. But to throw in an extra joke here and there is always, like, nice. Like, I always, like, you know, when someone has, like, a sense of humor and they hold the door open for you and they say a joke or something, like a, a friendly joke. Or, you know, the Uber drivers, they, they were talking, they were telling us about the area, telling them how long they live there and the pros and cons of the area, what they like, what they dislike, what they think is, you know, the best parts of of the city you know whatever and I, it, it, it it's just something that I, I I'm not very used to and I really just appreciated that part of the of the trip that I took it's just so unfortunate that I've gotten so used to the idea of you know when you're out you're out if you're out by yourself you know people aren't going to talk to you like this is not a time for a conversation and you don't talk to strangers like that's not what you do but traveling here made me realize that's a normal thing You know, you can talk to strangers and have a conversation with people that you don't even know and, you know, have a good time. People are friendly in other places. I I, I don't know. It was just, like I said, it's foreign to me. I've gotten so used to being to myself and I don't really want to get used to that because I I, I want to form connections with people. I want to make friendships, relationships. You know, I just want more of that in my life, especially in this, you know, going into this part of my life. I've been on my own a lot, doing a lot of things by myself, which I'm learning now a little bit more to enjoy. Um, I've been doing a lot of things by myself and I think I'm ready to do things with other people. And, you know, I want my social life to grow a little bit. So, I felt a lot of hope for that and when I went to Dallas and when I traveled to that area and I didn't feel like you know it was all me like I had to work on every aspect of myself in order to enjoy you know some type of social interaction like it wasn't all me maybe just the setting that I'm in right now is just not for me that's that's my point but I hope to go back soon that was such a great experience I need to go back to take in more of the vibe of the area so that maybe I can see if I really do want to live there or try to live there. But man, I, I can't wait to go back. I really can't wait to go back. Um, and I had such a great time. But that was basically my story. I just wanted to talk about my experience and how how great I felt when I was there and everything like that. But thank, but that, that's basically it. I'm done. I digress. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Um, if you've made it this far, if you want to follow me on my socials for this podcast, they're all at introverts talk Two. Well, actually on TikTok, it's at introverts talk Two, and on Instagram, it's at introverts talk Two podcast. Um, I don't post as frequently on Instagram. I will try. I can try to do that, but I don't know. Instagram is a little intimidating for me. I don't know why, but yeah, thanks so much for listening. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Okay, bye.